Sage 50 companies have two fiscal years open at any given time, with each year typically holding 12 accounting periods for a total of 24 periods. Additionally, the fiscal year structure in most companies matches the calendar year. As you use the program, you will eventually come to a point where you will run out of currently available open accounting periods. In order to continue posting transactions in a new fiscal year, you will first need to close the older of the two open fiscal years. Typically, you will want to do this when the current period approaches the last three open periods of the current fiscal year. Before running the year-end wizard, it is recommended that you check for and correct inconsistencies in your company data using the data verification tool. Doing so will help ensure that your fiscal year closes without errors. Before running this test, you should change the accounting period to period 1. To do this, click the accounting period icon on the main window. Select accounting period 01 in the open accounting periods list and then click OK. Next, select the System Navigation Center and in the Integrity Check section, click Verify Data. The data verification window displays. Leave both tests checked and click the Start button. A backup window will appear. This is a required backup. Leave the DV in the file name so that you can identify it as a data verification backup. This backup can be deleted once the year end process is complete. When the backup is complete, the data verification process will begin automatically. Depending on your data size, this unintended portion of the verification process may take several minutes. At the end of the test, you will be informed of any error corrections. If errors were found and corrected, click the Error Log button to view the details. Otherwise, click Close. After the test is complete, change back to your current accounting period. Now that data integrity has been verified, you can begin closing your year using the Year End Wizard. To close the first of your two open fiscal years, access the System Navigation Center, and in the Data Maintenance section, Click Run Year End Wizard Now. The Year End Wizard welcome page will display, informing you of the current open fiscal and payroll tax years. Click Next. The Close Option page displays. If the fiscal year matches the calendar year, which in turn matches the payroll tax year, you will want to close both the fiscal and payroll tax years together, even if you do not process payroll in the program. Depending on your current accounting period and how your fiscal and payroll tax years are structured, not all of these options may be available. The program will always allow you to close only the appropriate year or years based on your accounting structure, so do not be concerned if all close options are not available to you at one time. Click Next. You may receive an error message indicating that there are purchase invoices that are marked with the Waiting on Bill option. Invoices dated in closed years cannot be edited, so they need to be corrected before closing the year. In this case, you will be unable to proceed until the invoices are modified. To resolve this issue, cancel out of the Year End Wizard and open the Purchases list. Set the date range on the list to All and open any purchase invoice dated in the year you are trying to close that has a check in the Waiting on Bill column. Uncheck the Waiting on Bill checkbox on the invoice and then save the invoice. You can now reopen the Year in Wizard to continue closing the year. You may also receive a message indicating that there are unprinted items that exist in the fiscal year that you are closing, which may include sales invoices, payments or payroll checks, and 1099 forms. Sage 50 considers an invoice saved without an invoice number or a payment saved without a check number as unprinted. You may wish to review these items by canceling the year in Wizard at this point. Please view Sage Knowledge Base Article 10285 to learn how to locate and print unprinted invoices and payments. Let's click Next. You may wish to print out all or some of the reports listed by marking or unmarking the checkboxes next to each report. You can click Check All to select all of the reports and click Check None to deselect all of the reports. Click Next. The Internal Accounting Review step displays. 
At the end of each accounting period, you are given the option to run the internal accounting review to locate common transaction mistakes. This is an optional step. If you choose to run the internal accounting review at this time, you will then need to restart the year in Wizard. Click Next. The Backup Company Data page displays. Making a backup of company data is a required step when closing the fiscal year. The Next button will remain inactive until a backup has been performed. Click Backup. The Backup Company Options window displays. It's generally a good rule of thumb to also backup archives and attachments at this time. Click Backup. You may want to name this backup in such a way that you can easily identify it as a year-end backup. Because this backup is the last data set with the year being closed still open, it's highly recommended that you keep this backup safe. You may want to make multiple copies of it and store it off-site with other important backups. Let's save the backup. After the backup file process completes, the Next button is now available. Click Next. If you are using Sage 50 Premium Accounting or Quantum, you will also have the option of making an archive company that contains the information in a read-only state for the fiscal year that you are closing. This is an optional step. The new Open Fiscal Years window displays, which shows the additional 12 periods for the upcoming fiscal year. The end date of the accounting periods can be modified, but you cannot change the fiscal year start date or the number of periods in the fiscal year. Click Next. The Confirm Year-End Close window displays, informing you of the fiscal and payroll tax years that will be closed. In addition, you will be informed of the two open fiscal years that will be open after the year-end wizard is complete. Click Next. The Begin Close Year Process window displays. Because the company data was verified before walking through the year-end wizard, you can uncheck the data verification option on this window. Doing so will speed up the closing process. Click Begin Close to close the year. The unattended portion of the year-end closing process will begin, providing you with a completion status bar. This process may take a while to complete. When finished, the year-end wizard congratulation page displays. This page confirms that the older fiscal and payroll year has been closed and that a new fiscal year has been opened. Click Finish. You can verify your new open accounting periods by clicking the Change Accounting Period Navigation Aid on the main window. You can now begin entering transactions in the new open fiscal year. It is recommended that you now make an additional post-close backup. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.